so cold today. I'm so sad. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome to another video this week. I'm sorry that I never uploaded last week, but I was busy with work and I hope you guys can forgive me because I feel really bad, but I'm off for three days, so I'm gonna literally cram loads of filming in, in between writing blog posts and actually seeing my friend. Today I thought I'd decide to change my background to something Christmassy. It is Christmassy and I've got my tree which is better than last year's one. If you saw last year's one in my Christmas q &A, it was disgustingly silver and I didn't have any money to buy a new one but luckily this year I bought one for myself. This tree is four foot, it looks amazing and it was only £10. Home base, I love you. But that's going to be a whole other video because I was decorated the whole of my room Christmassy. So I really want to do a Christmas room tour, which will be like channeling some like hot chocolate marshmallows and all that. So get ready to feel really cozy with that. But anyway, this week's video is what's in my bag. And I know what you're thinking. Fran, you're just copying Zoella. She just filmed a video with that same bag and basically everything in your bag is going to be the same. I know guys, I was trying to think of videos to film and on the day she literally uploaded it, not going to lie, it was such a coincidence. I was like, maybe I should just film for what's in my bag and then she put it up and I was like, oh my god, I can't film it now because it looked like I'm copying it. But then one of my um, acquaintances on Twitter and Instagram, Hayley, hi if you're watching, she was like, just do it anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. So this is my bag, it's the Zoella Lifestyle backpack. It's the best thing ever. It's a massive, it's like the TARDIS, it fits everything in there. So it's good for going to work and going on long shopping trips and you'll be surprised how much you can fit in there. I don't have every single bit I would put in on a work day because I just wanted to condense it down. But I've not really touched my bag as much, I just took two things out. But for the rest of it, I don't know what's in there, and oh my god, there's a pen mark on my bag. No. For those of you who want to know more about the bag from a customer point of view, rather than Zoe, this is the softest, comfiest bag ever. I know there's no poppers, but I panicked at first when I got it because I was like, how am I going to keep it secure? I'm going to have to like do a tourist thing by having it like that on me. But really, the drawstring is so sturdy, it's so hard to open. If you're in a rush to pay for something, make sure you get your cash out or your card out way before you queue up because you're going to look like an absolute weirdo literally fighting your bag to open it to get your card. That's how sturdy it is. So if you want to see what I carry in my bag, then carry watching. So the first thing in my bag is, oops, no, is my Merino and Diamonds fruit handbag thingy. This I use if I don't want to use a plastic bag or if I'm buying lots of things and I'm going to have to get plastic bags but I don't want a plastic bag so I just carry this with me or if I'm buying lunch on the go, I just stuff it in here. This milk bag was £10 at the Palladium and I, at the time I was like I'm not going to really use it but I just really really want it but thank you Fran of 2015. This bag has literally been used so many times I can't even count. I've got like lush totes that I use occasionally but I always reach for this. Next thing is earphones. These are new ones. If you remember in my spring what's in my bag I said that I dropped my phone and the earphones this bit took the impact and it bent but it was okay but then literally the day after they both stopped working the earphones so I had to go to Apple store and pay like £25 for a new set. These are just normal Apple earphones, you know the standard ones you get with your phone but I can't be bothered to fork out extra money for nice rose gold earphones or whatever people sell in technology shops these days. So good old Apple, I love you and this is like a lifesaver if you're bored on the train or you just need music. The next thing is a book. Oh my god, it's a magpie. This <laughs> is literally right by the window. Oh my god. The next thing I carry is a book with me to work. Oh my god, it's back. 
and it's flown off again. What the hell is it doing? I can't leave the house without a book in my bag if I'm going to work. Obviously if I'm going out with family and friends and all that, I don't because I know that the journey will be short and I have company, but if I'm alone on my work trips, not work trips, commute. So this book I have is Christmas at Rosie Hopkins Sweet Shop. This is honestly one of my favorite books ever. Apart from Lindsay Kelp's I Heart Christmas, this one is so cozy, comforting, warming, everything you want in a festive book. And it's set in the village, which is my favorite thing ever. I love Rosie's character. She's so funny and down to earth. And there's a lot of other characters that I love. And Jenny Colgan is really good. And I actually started reading this at the beginning of November or mid of November. But yeah, my Kath Kisten purse thing. This I've had for years. This was before I got this before I even started working there. As you can see, it's got the old style zip and everything. And I don't even know the print name. But in this, I literally just keep my card in the protected purse thing so people can't like brush past your bag and get your details with an evil device or whatever. I don't actually know what it's supposed to prevent but I know it's supposed to keep the card safe. So I just keep it in there for easy access if I'm scrambling to pay for something. My other purse is of course a Zoella Beauty Christmas one. This has gingerbread and it says bake by day. I'm not going to go on about it because you've probably seen her video explaining it and everyone else and everybody else has probably talked about it but I use this because it's Christmassy I want to keep my bag theme as festive as I feel inside my heart and inside we have sanitizer essential because you're touching handles on buses and trains and I literally can't eat food without washing my hands it makes me feel grubby so I keep this in my bag it's an essential this time it's a brand called Cutie Cura. I got this from Boots because I couldn't find my trusted Soap and Glory. When this is finished, I'm going to go back to Soap and Glory if I can find it. Next thing I have is a little mirror. It's literally just a plain mirror. And on the front it's got a little postcardy thing. And I've had this for years. I got it from Claire's. And I think it came with, I don't know what else it came with, but it came in like a gift set sort of thing. But it's still good as new and I use it every day. Lip balm, can't leave the house without lip balm. This is Lush's Key Lime Pie. Honestly, do not buy Vaseline. That is, that stuff is like the work of the devil. It's got petroleum jelly, which coats your lips, but doesn't actually moisturize them. So it tricks your brain or your lips into thinking they're being moisturized and they go drier. So definitely go for Key Lime Pie from Lush or Honey Trap or anything from Lush because all their lip balms are good. I've gone about quarter of the way, had it for months, use it every single day. Honestly, if my lips bleed and they're cracked from the cold, I put this on and literally next day or two days later, they are back to what they were before my lips cracked. In these winter months, I like to put it on before bed so when I wake up, my lips are luscious and then I reapply before makeup and that's why my lipstick always looks fabulous. Next is my hand cream of choice. This again is from the Zoella Beauty Christmas range. It's the gingerbread hand cream, otherwise known as Hungry Hands, and I've put this on every, almost every day before work or whatever. Ah, oh, I just want to eat my hands. I've literally given this to everyone I've talked to, and they agree with me, it's too good to eat, and it actually moisturize your hands really well. And I keep it in my apron at work, so I can do little top-ups throughout the day, and I just can't stop smelling my hands. I think customers think I'm going mad, but I don't care because my hands are gonna be festive and Christmassy and gingerbread-y. Gingerbread is my favorite thing ever. About Christmas, I literally drink 10 gallons of gingerbread lattes a year. And last thing in here is my lipstick of choice from two days ago, which is the L'Oreal Color Riche in Erotique. And it's a matte and it's really gorgeous, sort of moody pink, which is so beautiful. And even though it's matte, it doesn't dry out my lips. And I definitely really love the packaging. It's so pretty and yeah, I just in love with that color at the moment. 
I'm 107, which I'm wearing today. What else have I got in here? It's literally a never ending pit. My keys! I've got Cafe Kids, the little apple one with the print little fruits on. This one, I don't know if you can get still, I think it went in the cell, so try and find it on the website. I've got my key for my door, then I've got my Nashville guitar from when I went to America to see my family and we went to, what's it called, Country Music Hall of Fame Museum in Nashville, which was so cool. And I've also got the Zoella Lifestyle Inspire keyring which came with the bag and the coffee cup things downstairs. But I really love this, it's so cute and I love the little Z. I wish my name began with a Z, so it'd be more personal, but you can't win everything. And lastly, I have a pom-pom. I didn't actually buy this. I got it free from Superfrog because I bought loads of products the other week and they gave me a free pom-pom. So it was like three for two, I get free pom-pom. I got a white one or cream or whatever and I really like the colour. So I didn't pay anything to keep in trend and you could probably pay like £20 for a pom-pom from like Michael Kors or something. But yeah, that's my keys and pom-pom's good because you can find your keys easily and yeah, I never thought I'd like a pom-pom but I do. The next thing is my purse. This is again Cav Kidston. I mean when you work there you're gonna buy everything, there's discount and everything's so pretty and yeah, this was on my wish list on my blog and I got paid so I was like, I'm gonna treat myself now. So this is my winter purse because it's black and it's got bright roses and everything. I have a close up guys because it's so pretty and inside it's just like this. And I've got Boots card, Super Trump Beauty card which is the crappiest thing ever. Had it for years and literally it took me, it takes me a year to build up one pound. I mean I don't go there that often but it's stupid and within the space of half a year at Boots I've built up 50 or 60 pounds which is insane so much prefer Boots Advantage card. What else? Nando's card! I've still got half a free chicken to redeem. Waterstones card, amazing because I'm an absolute bookworm and it's great for getting books. A Starbucks card which I can't go anywhere without. I need to top it up this month because I got paid but I'm trying to like budget myself so at the moment I've only got £1.56 on my Starbucks card but every time you buy a drink with the card you get a star and every 15 stars you get a free drink so I had a free drink the other day so I need to top it up to continue to buy my drinks. Cash, at the moment I've got like £50 in cash and coins which is good because that's what I need for my food and everything. Okay, I've still got the Starbucks Benefit sleeve. I just really like it because it's pink and it's pretty and I used to use it all the time. Okay, this, <laughs> this is designed by my friend Vicky's sister and it's a little sloth and it's a Santa sloth and I thought it was so cute that I gently took it off the envelope which you put it on to seal the envelope. I stuck it on a piece of paper and cut it out and I just keep it in my purse because it's so cute. I love sloths. Sloths, pugs, red pandas and parrots are my favourite animals and birds in the whole entire world and cats. Oh my god, just look how adorable it is. Thank you so much Vicky for giving me this. And I've got your card hanging literally just next to this tree which will be in the video of my room tour. And what else? Paper chase card, crumbs and doilies business card, L size guide, body shop card and Costa card which I've never used. I just got it because I like collecting points cards. And that is my purse. Empty wrapper. This was from yesterday on the way home after work. I don't mind doing early shifts, but if it's 10 to 3, I'm starving by the end. And my mom's like, I won't cook till 5, so I've got like two hours of no food. And I always eat before my shift, which is fine, but by the end, I'm like, give me all the food. I really have a serious urge to get a McDonald's after work because there's one right in the station where I go home. But 
yesterday I decided to pick up a naked bar. It's like raw fruit and nuts cold pressed and it's supposed to taste like naughty things but it's not naughty because it's vegan. It counts as one of your five a day and it's gluten free and dairy free. And this one was baked cold tart and honestly it contains dates, cashews and raisins and natural flavouring and it is the best thing I've ever tasted. It tastes exactly like baked cold tart but it's healthy. So this is amazing. If you guys want something healthy but tastes naughty, definitely get the naked bars. Next thing is my Oyster card holder. This again, oh, <laughs> this again is from Cap Kidston. I've had it for a few months and I just like this style. Basically, I like the Aspinall of London card holders but I'm not paying £40. And this is a very similar design but floral. So I thought I might as well get one to make me feel cool but it's not really feeling. So on this side I've got my Oyster card, on the other side I've got my ID and I've also got two return tickets to Brighton which were valid like three months ago. But I don't know why but I really like to keep them to make myself feel cosmopolitan. Cos cosmopolitan no. And I just, it's a nice memory to see when you get your Oyster card out. You're like, oh, I miss that day with my friend. And hairbrush, I mean, why? Who doesn't carry a hairbrush in their bag? Because when it's windy or raining and your hair gets knotty and disgusting, or you've just gone like three hours without brushing your hair, it goes really weird and stringy, you need to brush your hair. So that's why I carry this. Oh gee, I've got loads of random stuff. A penny. I'm gonna pop that in my bag. I've got like a little cash bag that fills up a pound for one piece because I get so many nowadays. It's unreal. But that penny was changed from that naked bar because it's 99 p and I put a pound in the machine and it really bugs me to get a penny because I wish they just rounded it up to an like a nice amount. I wish the naked bars were just a pound. Last thing is of course my iPhone 6 Plus. I do not go anywhere without my phone. I mean I took a quiz last night and it said that I was 42% addicted to my phone because in reality if I forget my phone at home I don't panic because I know it's at home but I kind of panic if I can't get hold of my family friends. But apart from that I'm pretty addicted to social media and everything. And it's, of course, my trusty popcorn skinny dick case. And most of the eyes have fallen off now. I got this in January, so I had it nearly a year. Which isn't that bad for eyes falling off, which I'm quite happy with. And the good thing is they've got eyes behind the eyes, so it doesn't look that bad. Which I guess is a good design for what they had in the head office or wherever they design these cases. I've seen my lock screen, it says Merry Christmas and it's a little reindeer. That's from Pinterest and my background is candy canes, which I think is so festive and cute. And little plug, follow me on Instagram. I've just hit 2000, which is insane. It's taken me five years, but it's okay because only this year I've really been concentrating on Instagram. So it's at Fran Alibi and I've got a festive theme going on. Hell yes. And that is everything in my bag. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more from me because I'm going to do a vlog on this. Well, I'm going to try, but it's going to be like a fortnightly one or a weekly one. I'm not sure. I haven't decided what I'm going to do but I really want to do it this year and I want to jump on the bandwagon. But anyway, I'll see you guys next week or later this week or whenever I decide to upload because uploading every Friday is stressful, especially when it's coming close to Christmas and you've got a lot of shifts to do and you've got no free time whatsoever. So I'll see you guys whenever and have a lovely week or weekend and I hope you feel Christmas season or festive or whatever. Bye!